so I, I've alluded to theme dynamics and um, theme dynamics is really the how all the soup is made and how this kind of goes together, how there is a synergy with it. And so one of the things with the talent themes, um, our talent themes are constantly interacting and combining with, um, with others as we enter into each different situation. So we look at our top five, or even if we've done our full 34 assessment, we can begin to recognize how they are all working together whether actually whether we realize it or not. And as a coach, we begin to, by listening to the stories of our coachees, help them not only to see the individual occasions of a particular theme at work, but also what that dynamic may look like. And, uh, and, and why, you know, and I, they, um, Gallup even talks about it as kind of like um, chemistry like the periodical periodic chart when you look at all 34 themes and you bring a couple of different ones together and it's amazing what can happen but um, those talents can magnify and support um, but they can also modify things so um, i'm actually going to try and see if this will work um, show you a little clip of one of the authors of the living your strengths book um, and a little clip that he put together regarding um, the dynamics of talents. It's just about two minute little clip and we'll, we'll see if it'll work here. We began studying talent, the patterns of thought, feeling, and behavior we all naturally have. Our research shows that there are 34 broad categories or themes of talent. The Clifton Strengths Finder assesses your themes of talent and ranks them from your five most dominant themes all the way down to your 34. Your top five themes are the ones that you use most consistently and that best characterize you. But you use different talents in different situations and all of your talent themes influence each other. They can enhance, modify, or regulate other themes. We call this theme dynamics. To understand theme dynamics, think about the periodic table of elements in chemistry element has its own special characteristics but when two or more blend together they create something brand new for instance oxygen and hydrogen both have distinctive properties but when they combine they become something new and powerful theme dynamics are a lot like that each talent theme expresses itself in predictable ways but we don't use our talent themes in isolation Depending on the situation, we use different talents, and those themes of talent influence each other. You may find, for instance, that circumstances require both your analytical and relator talents, and the dynamic between them creates something new. Your unique talents are innate. You can't change them or get new ones, but the more you know about your talents and the more you intentionally use them, the more productive your other talents get. That's the great thing about theme dynamics. So think about the elements that make you, you. How they interact and how you can turn them into strengths. Your theme dynamics might be far more powerful than you realize. Both have distinctive properties, but when they combine, they become something new and powerful. Theme dynamics are a lot like that. Each talent theme expresses itself in predictable ways, but we don't use our talent themes in isolation. Depending on the situation, we use different talents, and those themes of talent influence each other. You may find, for instance, that circumstances require both your analytical and relator talents. And the dynamic between them creates something new. Your unique talents are innate. You can't change them or get new ones. But the more you know about your talents and the more you intentionally use them, the more productive your other talents get. That's the great thing about theme dynamics. So think about the elements that make you, you. How they interact and how you can turn them into strengths. Your theme dynamics might be far more powerful than you realize. When those talents can come together, um, it can be uh, 
it can be amazing. It can create something new and beautiful. But we also know that sometimes when talent, the wrong, um, maybe not the wrong, but when different um, chemicals come together, sometimes it can be explosive as well. So that can be very uh, a, a very poignant image that you can help a coachee understand as to why they may sometimes struggle with other people or when you're working with a team and coaching a team, um, why sometimes in, um, you might feel as though you're push, someone's pushing your buttons a little bit and that we there are going to be some talents that are almost feel like they're, that's their sandpaper. And so helping our coach ease to understand what the needs and motivations are, um, which you can find pretty much in the insights in the Living Your Strength book for each of the, the themes, um, it gives you a sense of what they can expect and what they really need in order to um, be able to flourish themselves, but then also to give them a language to be able to express that. Additionally, this Expanding Your Strengths book will help you to uh, unpack that theme a little bit to them. So this is taking it to a little, um, little bit more of a depth than the initial conversation that our original coaching methods had in the, the, the training we had in the fall. Uh, but it, it is this next level. And so you can still ask those kind of leading questions, but you can also help them understand how certain things might be working or ask them a question of, you know, for instance, in this case, on the screen you have in front of you, another screenshot of achiever and deliberative. While you work with intensity and stamina, you don't want your work to be hurried. So they don't want their achievers really want to make something happen, but if they have a combination of achiever and deliberative, they may need to be able to ask their coworkers not to rush them not to, you know, to give them a little bit of time and that it's okay. But there are going to be others on the team that might have uh, another, another theme that's like, okay, we need to just go and do this and try it and see what happens. And that might clash a little, little bit, but th this helps them understand why the language might be different, why they might be feeling um, a barrier between themselves and someone else, um, or why there may just simply be tension um, and, and to help them to manage that conversation and, and have an understanding of themselves, but then also it helps each team member to be able to communicate that to one another. That's when you're doing it as a team. If you're only coaching someone, an individual, which a lot of us are do, do when we first start out, um, sometimes in the stories that people tell, they will, they will share a difficulty that they have with somebody that they're, co they're, they're working with, a uh, home situation. And, and so it's a very vulnerable time. Um, it's almost, you know, we're, we're in a Catholic context or a Christian context, I guess. Um, it's, it's like a little bit like confession or, you know, a confidant, they're, the coaching is them sharing with you as well. And so sometimes those stories share some really uh, sensitive and even like hurtful things that are going on in their lives, um, woundedness. And this can help them to see maybe what the dynamic is that's going on. So this tool is um, a, an extraordinary way in which you can kind of look at what that might, um, how that might be managed. And, and it really will give you a greater look into what the, um, what the, what the, you know, the strength finders uh, dynamics are really about as far as those theme dynamics. Now there's another thing, <coughs> excuse me, there's another thing to consider too when it comes to the strength finders. And that is that sometimes we can, for ourselves, apply what would be called a barrier label. Um, we, we can apply it to ourselves, but we use um, terms that sometimes will, and will sometimes take a talent and mistakenly devalue it. Um, and, and we will also sometimes dismiss it. And uh, so, you know, someone maybe gives us a compliment of, oh, you're, you know, you're really good at thinking all the, the details together and then arranging them. And that's, and you know, we have that natural inclination or a cultural inclination to just downplay that. And that's called a barrier label in the sense that sometimes we can mistakenly dismiss um, a talent as a weakness or people around us may do the same thing. And so sometimes there are, um, 
uh, things that maybe we were called as we were growing up or, you know, or in a workplace. And one of them is like, I'll show you the next page here. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm jumping away. But so there's a barrier label. I'll show this in a moment. But like one of the terms is the command talent. Well, a barrier label for command would be bossy. You know, they're going to tell you what to do and they're always, you know, well, that there are times where that's really needed. But there are also going to be times where that needs to be modified. And maybe um, if not, um, if someone has a command and woo in their top five, they may be able to modify that or positivity, and they might be able to uh, massage that a little bit. And you can help them to uh, look at how that might work together and how they might, they might help grow and mature that talent in a different way. So there are there is a rawness or a baseline level of our talents that we have um, in, in their innate, as they're innately given to us as they begin to grow and they take, take root. Um, so there's the barrier label that we can sometimes devalue our, our talents and um, people often will have that experience. You'll, they'll tell experience like, well, in your coaching session that, you know, this always happens and now I have a, a name for it. I understand, I, it's, okay, it's a strength or a, a real talent, but, but I always run into the same wall or people say this about me. And this may be, um, this is something that we can help them not to devalue it, but to see their talent as a real strength. So there's the barrier language and then there is like the affirmation language. And this is where we wanna help them to see differently um, what the, the theme is, what the, the domains are and how that can really you know, help them to flourish and blossom. And we want them to value the talent and celebrate it in others. So on a team coaching situation, you, you may find yourself you know, talking to a couple of different people and helping them to learn how to affirm one another and in, in their talents. But on an individual basis, as we, many of us, most of our coaching situations are going to be um, one-to-one, and it's going to help to break the, um, the cycle of like negative language that someone may have heard over the course of, of their lifetime even about a particular a, a talent that they have, they exhibit um, and to help them see it in a new light and new value. Um, there's, there, up until a couple of weeks ago, there was a website that was called catholicstrengthsinstitute.org and I went there today to try to find, make another screenshot so you could see um, a resource that's on there and it's not there anymore. So I'm not sure why, what happened there, but one of the, um, uh, here's um, a, a big example of something that was on their website that um, like command is the talent theme. The barrier language is bossy. What we need to do is help our coach E be able to see that talent talent in a new light. And if we're working with a couple or with um, a, a team of people, it, this can help them to be able to see in a new way the person that's sitting across from themselves or the individual to see the person that they're looking in the mirror at in a new way. So command is the theme, bossy, and then there's they're charismatic, driven. And that those are all affirmative ways in which they can cultivate their, their talent in some ways. Um, now, th these, even though that website is no longer there, Gallup actually has them available. Um, and, and they are also mentioned in that Expanding Your Strengths book. So um, the more I just, I personally discovered all these things at different times in my research process of, of you know, investing in my, my talent of uh, trying to be a coach and, um, and being able to listen more carefully to my coachees. And so I found them in different places and I was going to share them with you like that free website, but in this case, you're going to probably have to buy the book in order to have it. Gallup also has this available in coaching cards, which are sometimes things that you can just pull out. Um, so let me just uh, show you that here.